Welcome everybody to the AACA Museum Incorporated at 161 Museum Drive in Hershey, Pennsylvania, the sweetest place on earth. Here at the AACA Museum, we have over 275 vehicles in our collection, and this is another installment of Collection Chronicles. I'm Bill Rothermel, a member of the Board of Directors of the Museum and also the chairperson of the Car Collection Committee. This car is a really unusual and unique car and just a perfect example of the kind of vehicles that you'll see here at the museum on display. It's a 1941 Lincoln Zephyr Ambulance. This car actually began life as a seven passenger limousine and it was converted to a ambulance a very, very early in its history. Lincoln was the king of V12s. Nobody made more V12s than Lincoln. It was actually an outgrowth of Ford's flathead V8. And uh, really the styling, the other thing that's interesting about this car is the styling, which was inspired by both Edsel Ford and Bob Gregory, who kind of collaborated together on Lincoln. Uh, uh, Henry Ford was not, uh, he was a very practical man, a man who just really didn't look at the styling of an automobile. He made his son Edsel head of Lincoln. Bob Gregory came along. The two of them collaborated on the designs of Ford Motor Company cars throughout the 30s and the 40s and really brought styling to an otherwise kind of bland automobile. Uh, Lincoln was not particularly known for its styling. Along came the Zephyr with its streamlined styling. It got its name from the newfangled trains on the Burlington Railroad. Uh, they were diesel powered uh, streamlined trains. Uh, Ford capitalized on the name and used it on their lower line Lincoln model. Were it not for the Lincoln Zephyr, the Lincoln name most likely would have disappeared. Lincoln, like Cadillac, like Packard, saw the need for a lower priced automobile, a lesser expensive automobile, and thus the Zephyr was introduced in 1939-1940 for the Ford Motor Company. This Lincoln began life as a four-door, seven-passenger limo. It was converted to an ambulance and saw duty in California during the 1940s and 1950s. It rides a wheelbase 13 inches longer than a standard Lincoln Zephyr sedan, making it easily adaptable for special tasks such as an ambulance. It was retired from active duty and it saw action in several motion pictures. Only 295 limo-bodied Lincoln Zephyrs were built in 1941, and this is likely to be the only surviving ambulance. This vehicle also is completely equipped has all of its ambulance equipment. It has the gurney in the back. Uh, rather fascinating to see a vehicle like this as part of our collection. Just one of the many that we have here at the AACA Museum.